just want to thank and praise the Lord for allowing me to be here for this youth weekend. Um, this theme is personal to me. I win. The last couple of weeks, we done been through it, but we win. We are still standing. We are in the house of God worshiping. If you all follow my son on Facebook, you know that a couple of weeks he had an accident. He is sitting in the house of God tonight. I am not planning his funeral service. It's to God be the glory. It's to God be the glory. It's to God be the glory. If you saw the pictures of his car, you know that it should have been the other way. It's to God be the glory. 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 I'm not planning his funeral. He is in the house today. He is celebrating with the youth. The enemy thought he had. And as I shared with them on yesterday, that was my life. Everything that was going on in that play was once my life. But God saw fit to have somebody reach out to me. Have somebody pray for me. When I couldn't pray for myself. God, I thank you. I don't want to take up too much time, but the last time I stood here, you know, I was like, God, I thank you. I got another promotion. But let me tell you, sometimes it ain't God. And sometimes you got to go back and you got to make some things right. You know, I, I was like, okay, God, you know, I, I needed some, some extra cash and it came up, but it, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. And everything began to happen and I began to go and pray. And I said to somebody, I said, I, I don't think that this position is for me because everything that they wanted me to do went, went against what God planned for my life was. And so I turned them down and everything that began to happen at work, you know, that I began to get, they, they gave me write-ups and now and they were singing my praises just, just the weeks before. But then I began to get write-ups after write-ups after write-ups. And I'm like, well, why am I getting these write-ups? Hallelujah. Then they came in and they said, well, you're working too many hours. And if you go to Bible way, then you know that I'm always at work. So how am I working too many hours? So then they came up and they said, well, we're going to suspend you for about a week. And you know me, I'm like, well, I need the time off. So thank you. You know, so that, that kind of made them mad, you know. And, and I, I thank God because any other time I would have got upset. Any other time I, I would have been in a panic mode. But I was calm. You know, and, and when, when, when we came up with that theme, I didn't know that I was going to go through all of that stuff. I didn't know that I was going to start getting sick. I didn't know that I was going to start having seizures after seizures after seizures. But God is a healer. He is yet keeping me. I think and I praise God just for being here. I'm not as young as they are, but I still count myself amongst the youth. You know, it, it, I, I just, I, I thank God for everything that happened this weekend. It was just for me. Everything that was said was for me. The word that came across, even in the play, as I sat there saying those lines, it was my deliverance. Thank you, thank you Jesus. We don't know why God does what he does, but he do what he do because he's God. You know, I don't, Y'all just pray for me. We're going to turn this service over to Andrew to Andrea. Praise the Lord. Thanks. Praise the Lord. Thanks. Praise the Lord. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for joining us. This is our annual Youth Day 2023. Um, we've had a wonderful weekend. It's been an extraordinary weekend. We started off with 
the uh, play on Friday night. Um, the cast, I have to admit, they surprised me because that was some great acting. But more importantly, the message that they gave, I think, was needed. And I think it was needed for everyone. And then yesterday, we had our mental health seminar, which I think was successful, it was phenomenal, it was something that I just thank God we were able to do. Um, and now today, we are concluding our youth weekend with our day and with Elder David Spellman. We thank God for him. We thank the Lord that he's here. We thank the Lord for God and Light joining us and any other guests in the audience. We are glad you are here. And I'm not just saying it because it sounds nice. We really are glad that you are here. Now, it's time for offering. And we're going to uh, go ahead on and get started. I want to thank uh, my father for joining me. <laughs> I know y'all are probably wondering, well, I thought this was a youth service. I'm actually not that young myself. Um, I was told this morning by one of the little girls in Sunday school, you look like you're 29. I said, I'm actually 43. She said, what? So I'm like Sister Alicia. I'm not as young as those that we are celebrating, but still I am glad to be here. And I thank my father again. Amen. All right. So we're going to turn this part over to Elder Dave. Come on, give God a hand praise in the house. Oh, come on, come on, give God a hand praise. Yes. Hallelujah. So glad I'm here in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, we come before an offering. Praise the Lord. Let's be a blessing to our young people. Amen. The Bible says, I will bless them that bless thee, amen. amen. So let's be a blessing. Praise the Lord. Let's give them a good offering. Yes. Glory to God. And that God may continue to bless them as they continue, amen, this generation to encourage others to come, amen, and enjoy this salvation. Can the church say amen? Amen. 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 You have a goal. Amen. Hey, make the young people feel good today, amen? amen? Amen. Come on, let us all stand, praise the Lord, and let's be a blessing. Amen so to our young gonna people. We're going to start off our offering with $100. And also, um, could God and Light's youth um, come to the choir stand, please? Praise I the Lord. I was told to ask y'all to come to the choir. Amen. Amen. And Bible way youth as well. I'm sorry. It's a combined choir. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, nice. I know, but I thought it was awesome. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, God and light. Amen. Behold how good and pleasant it is. For what, brethren, Bible. to dwell together in unity. Amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to ask our deacon to bless our offering in Jesus' name. So, Lord, we thank you for this day. Have you blessed us? Even for this three-day weekend, Lord, have you blessed our souls? The Spirit of the Lord has been here in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your encouragement, Savior. We give you praise and we give you glory. We ask that you bless this offering. Bless all the have it to give. Even those don't have it but want to give it. And we ask it all in your precious name. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen.
hear some good word on today. Amen. First, we want to get our speaker offering out of the way. Amen. Let everybody stand. Follow the direction of the usher. Amen.
coming up here, so I'm up here. We greet you in the precious name of Jesus. We thank God for his goodness, his mercy. We thank God that he's blessed you to be here, blessed us to be here. We've had a marvelous weekend. I win. I win. Ah, they sung the song this morning. No matter what the weapon, no matter what it is, I win. The scripture says we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. We thank God for being here. We thank God for our youth group and how they have put together a marvelous weekend. Yeah, thank the Lord for Sister Andrea Face and taking the lead. Everybody that followed her in this group, thank God for the choir this morning. Y'all already know that Brother Maurice. Maurice can make the cues sing. Amen, but we had a great time on this morning. We had a word that said, be of good cheer. No matter what you're going through, be of good cheer. That's what we're all about. That's what we want to be all about on today and throughout the rest of the week. Be of good cheer. Whatever has come before you, whatever you're going through, know that God is with you. Amen, again, we want, just want to thank the youth group Everybody that, that helped out, the play, oh my God, if you were here for the play, the play was great. All right, all right. Amen, our seminar yesterday, yeah. Our seminar yesterday was a blessing to many. And we know, well, we had a word this morning, but I know we're gonna get a word this evening. And we're so grateful for Elder Daniel David, I get y'all mixed up. Y'all both of y'all are dynamic. The dynamic duo. Amen. Ella David, who has been with us many years, has 
come and given us a word. Uh, before he comes, we're going to call our pastor, Bishop Newsom. Would y'all receive him by saying praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. God this evening for his goodness and for his mercy, for his keeping power and his saving grace. Praise the Lord, thank God for seeing all your beautiful faces. Praise the Lord, as I look back over the crowd this evening, my heart is made to feel good. haven't been together like this since the pandemic. So what I was looking at God in light and praise the Lord and how those young folk are shouting. Praise the Lord. And I got ready to say, Sister Cassandra, I wish I could shout like that, but I took that back real quick. <laughs> I can shout like some of them, I might break something. <laughs> but I, 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 I bless the Lord. I, I tell you, I have so much on my mind. And, you know, uh, thank God for Sister Andrea. Praise the Lord. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> she has put in with the rest of the crew. Time won't permit me to call all of these names. But I thank God for all of them. And, you know, I, I just can't help, like my wife said, to thank God for Brother Maurice. Oh. Thank you. Like I said last time when he was up here, he can make these flowers sing. I, I, I believe that. So, uh, all right now. I, I, just, I just blessed the Lord this weekend. For this, this youth weekend. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Because God knows exactly what he's doing. He knows when to do it, how to do it, and yeah. where to do it. Yeah. He don't work on, in our time or on our time. He work in his own time. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And I, I feel like preaching myself this evening. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We praise God for the preacher this morning. He told us that we win. No matter what we're going through, we win. So be a good cheer. We win. Praise God. We thank God for Bishop Spellman. Praise the Lord. I know what I'm doing. Seal, Joe Carter, <laughs> Ella Kurt, Ella Will, Ella Jenkins, Ella Ram, and my beautiful wife, Evangelist Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it, 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 it's so good, praise the Lord, just to have it. Family don't have to show off. <laughs> Y'all see how, how family do that? When we get together, we just act like family. That's what we do. Praise the Lord. And I, I thank God for Sister Angie and all the rest of the musicians. Look at these kids, and I remember when they was babies. Praise the Lord. Some of them about big as I am. But I'm still the uncle. Y'all don't forget that. Praise the Lord. I, 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 again, I'm, I'm just happy. I thank the Lord even for my daughter being here this evening. It's for all of my daughters. I have some more daughters back there. Praise the Lord. And I look back, I always love to see it's just my imagination. <laughs> I call <laughs> I call Brother Highway, it's just my imagination. He remind me of the five heartbeats. It's running away with me. <laughs> that's, 
That's my buddy. I thank God for Sister Vincent being here this evening. Praise the Lord. Saints, God is so good. Praise the Lord. I, I just wish I had time to call Brother William's name and Dr. Curtis and uh, everybody else. But it's time for the preach word of God. Praise the Lord. And we're asking, and I'm, I'm not coming back. That's why I'm saying all my minds now. Praise the Lord. And uh, uh, again, God is doing great things for us. And I asked the church this morning to pray for me as I pray for myself that God give me the right answer in what I'm asking him. Praise the Lord. I, I, I don't want nobody to have no pity party for me because I know in whom I believe. Not only do I know, but I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I know I win. I say, I know I win. Come on, y'all. I know we win. So be of good cheer. No matter what you're going through, praise God. God got you. Just know that all things are working to good. Sister Jenny, when I got to cry sometimes. Sister Cindy, when I don't even understand something. When I done done all I could and it seemed like nobody understands. I got to be of good cheer. Because I win. Come on, brothers, we win. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus, Sister Coco, I should have been dead and sleeping in my grave. But God, who was rich, Sister Vincent, I'm talking like this because I got a, a, I think I got two more months off. They, they don't know it yet, but now they know it. So Sister Angie, I got to do it when I can. I think I thank God for Sister Angie too. She's a speedster. Uh, I was <laughs> me and my wife was in Virginia Beach uh, the other day after I came from the doctors, and traffic was so heavy. I'm, I'm let you come, uh, you know day. <laughs> and traffic was so heavy, it seemed like nobody would let me out. I saw this car cut over from the other lane, and I thought I was trying to get in front of her, Uncle Pete, before she got up to me, and I did. But when I got in front of her, my phone rang. I think she said, Pastor Newsom, is that you? And I looked behind, I saw who was, I'm like, yeah, this me. We, we pulled over on the side of the road and we greeted each other. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. My wife said, y'all got some courage because I wouldn't have got out that car with all this traffic <laughs> going on like that. But we knew the protection of God was around us. Praise the Lord. I love Sister Angie and, and she can just slow down sometimes when she's passing me. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting you out there like that. If, if my daughter was up here, she said, Dad, don't do her. <laughs> but honest, you know, I, I just bless the Lord for all of you all today. Yes, Praise the Lord. If we just continue to get along like we are doing, yes, continue to contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints, Lord. all of us going to have to go through something. Yes. But we have to know whatever we are going through, it's making us. It's putting us in a place where God can tell us at the end, well done. Who looking for him to say that? Who looking for God to say, well done? I'm looking for him to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. He's not going to tell me you've been faithful 
over everything. He just going to say a few things. And because of that, come on. Come on over here where the table is spread. And the feast of the Lord is going on. Ella David is coming. I guess he'll put back on the roof that overseer took off this morning. Praise God. It's, 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 it's about the Lord. All of us, everybody in here that has the spirit of God, it's not about you. It's not by your power. It's not by your might. But it's by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. So at this time, Ella David is coming, but before he come, I thank this beautiful choir. Yes. This is my choir. Y'all didn't know that, did you? They coming, and they're going to shake these walls. And I'm asking that you get in tune with the choir, not just the choir, but when the speaker come up. It's about the speaker. When the speaker come up, we get tired and we get sad. But I want you to be engaged with the speaker like you are engaged with the choir. Especially these preachers up here. I need to see some smiles on their faces when the preacher get ready to preach. Because guess what? You coming up here too. You're going to be up here one day. And you're going to want somebody to get behind you. So let us continue to praise God together. And keep him on our mind. And continue to pull down these strongholds. And to cast down everything that's not like him. I, I, I have a young lady in, in the church. And. She was praying this morning. We surmise too much. Praise the Lord. We think about things that ain't even going on. Amen. Amen. My sister say, I tell you what to think about. Think about yourself. Come on, Brother Maurice. Thank you. 
on, give God some praise in the house. Come on, give God some praise. How many fighters I got in the house? How many fighters I got in the house? You made up in your mind that I'm going to fight on. You made up in your mind that I'm going to fight on. I come too far. I find no fault. I feel like going on. Trials come. Pressing me. But I'm going to fight on. I believe somebody in here made up in their mind. They're going to fight the good fight of faith. They're going to lay hold to eternal life. I come too far to turn around now. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. But I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me now. Can somebody say amen? All I got to do is willing to fight. Willing to put on the whole arm of God. Pull out my soul. Pull out my shield. Pull out my breastplate. Put on my help. I'm ready to fight. Come on and give God a hand pray. Come on and give God a hand pray. Tell that devil, you can't help my family. You can't help my increase. Somebody give God a hand praise in the house. Hallelujah. Come on, give the, the wonderful choir a hand. Amen. Glory to God. Fight on. Amen. Glory to God. And let us know, praise the Lord, we got to keep on fighting. Yes. And whatever love about God, he'll give you everything to fight with. Yes. He will equip you yes. for the fight. Amen. Yes. For the battle is not yours, but the battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For the young people. Give the young people a hand. A Bible way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I love to see that Bible way and God like get together. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Brother Maurice. Amen. Blessing us on the day. Oh, come on, give it up. Hallelujah. Tell somebody we're family. Huh? Amen. Amen. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood. Blood is still cleansing. I'm just still grateful for what God is doing. Amen. How the Lord is blessing. I just thank God. Praise the Lord for the pastor of this church. Amen. Man, praise the Lord. Thank God for Bishop. Amen. Tony Newsom. Amen. Come on. Come on. And it's one of beautiful wife. He like Lady Newsom. Amen. 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 Thank God for my pastor. Ella Daniel Spellman in the house. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All these distinguished elders, thank God for Ella Shaw. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for my brother here. Thank God for him, my elder Jenkins. Amen. Good. I grew up with you, and I can't even think of your name. Amen. Thank God for Ella Wilson. Amen. Ella Kurt, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the elder Anthony. Praise the Lord. And thank God, amen, for my friend, Elder Carter. Amen. Hallelujah. They told me he, pre he preached the roof off. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. I said, well, I might as well go on home. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says a friend loves at all times. Hallelujah. I thank God for him. Praise the Lord. And I thank God for his beautiful wife, my cousin. Is that all right? I can say that. See, he's in the family. He was my friend already. He's in the family now. Amen, missionary uh, Colleen Carter. I thank God for her. Amen. Thank God for the God like family being in the house. Amen. Thank God for my big brother, Junie. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my beautiful wife of 25 years. Amen. Seven children, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I take it back, I add more to it. But God has truly been good to me. Can I sing my own song? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Miss some ups and miss some downs. Hallelujah. But I just thank God. Somebody say, every day with Jesus 
is sweeter than the day before. And I'm just so grateful of God's blessings. Thank God for, amen, praise the Lord for Bible Way on the day. Amen. Give God praise for Bible Way. All the people of God. Amen. I'm going to go on to the Romans 8 and 26, the theme scripture. Praise the Lord. Amen. The theme is I win. Praise the Lord theme scripture. And I got two more scriptures after that. It's going to be Job 23 and 10, Psalm 61, 1 through 3. In the church, say amen. amen. Pray with me and pray for me that the Lord may just have his way. I can get in and out of your way. Amen. amen. Romans 8, 26 through 31. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself make an intercession for us yes. with groaning which it cannot be uttered. And he that searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Yes. And we know that all things, anybody know that was Bishop Spellman's favorite scripture, that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, in whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? We're going to Job 23 and 10. But he knoweth the way that I take. And he had, when, he, when he had tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Mm -hmm. Psalm 61, 1 through 3, hear my cry, O Lord, yes. and tender to my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, yes. lead me to that rock that's higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, a strong tower for the enemy. Praise the Lord. When I was young, praise the Lord, coming in church and really striving to please the Lord and be saved, coming out of the world, my mother gave me a cassette tape of a preacher in my family. And I played that tape and played that tape. Many of the family members are here, praise the Lord, part of the Williams family. A lady by the name of Evangelist Drake. Anybody remember her? And she encouraged me so much. And she preached the message. Hallelujah. And every time I get down, every time things seem overwhelming, that message still came back to me. I don't remember the scripture she used. I don't remember every scripture, praise the Lord. But I remember the theme of that message. And 30 years later, I still remember that message. Can the church say amen? amen. So we're going to use that topic today. Is that all right? Awesome. And the topic is you are a winner. In spite of the overwhelming circumstances. Tell somebody, I'm a, I'm a winner. In spite of the overwhelming circumstances. Put your hands together. Give God a hand. Praise for the word. It always amazes me that something that you can keep in your heart and God knows how to encourage his people. Can the church say amen? Because God knows our heart. He knows where we're at. Even he even knows where we are. How many know he's a good God? Yes. And he's concerned where we're going. Yes. Can the church say every man? Amen. Every good husband knows his wife. I say good husband. <laughs> and every good wife knows her husband. <laughs> Hallelujah. And every good father knows their children. But I learned no matter how good you think you know them, every once in a while, you slip a little bit and forget some things. Do I got some honest folks in the house? And everything was sometimes I really think I know her. She said, well, no, you don't know that part about me yet. Just keep on learning. How many know that's good to have grace and mercy even in your marriage? Somebody give God a hand praise in the house. Even a father knows their children. You can predict sometimes, praise our God, amen, your children, amen, before they even do it. But I'm so glad sometimes 
We miss them because they can do things sometimes. Hallelujah. It'll go over our head. But amen. I'm so glad that we serve a God that knows all things. Because we're not omnipresent, because we're not omnipotent, praise the Lord, all of us are limited of what we know about somebody else. Can I say amen? amen. Can somebody say amen? amen? Even God knows when we are ready to repent and give our lives over and allow him to lead and guide us. That's why it's so important for us to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God knows we need that gift. Yeah. I don't know how much you, and no matter what you go through, no matter what you have been through, praise our God, you found out just when you need him the most, the Holy Ghost steps right in. Do I got a witness in the house? Why? Because the Bible says it will lead us and guide us unto all truth. The Holy Ghost knows us better than we know ourselves. Do I got a witness in the house? That's why the Bible says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall do what? Direct thy path. For the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. God knows our struggles and our faults. Somebody say, he knows me. And he knows my ways. Glory to God. Amen. Psalms 39 and 1 through 4 say, Oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou hast known my down sitting and thou hast known my uprising and thou understand my thoughts afar off. Satan's job is act like don't nobody know me. He's trying to convince our young people you're not understood. He's trying to convince them nobody is listening. But I want to encourage you today, somebody is listening. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Praise our God. And thou art to pass my path. Amen. Lying down and acquainted with all my ways. Praise our God. He know your uprising. He know your down sitting. Praise God. He know your thoughts afar. Somebody say he knows me. And because he knows me, he knows how to teach me. How many know we need to be taught? Huh? Lord is looking for people, somebody that's teachable. It's not good to be trying to run and re- get ready to preach if you can't be taught. That's right. That's right. Can somebody say amen? amen? See, when you're taught, you learn how to become a teacher. Yeah. Somebody came and told me, oh, I'm ready to preach. I said, can you teach? <laughs> well, where do you get that from? The Bible says teaching them to observe all things. Whatsoever I command, before you want to go on to something else, learn how to teach somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Learn how to teach your children about the goodness of the Lord. Learn how to teach your neighbor about the goodness of the Lord. Somebody get a God a hand praise in the house. Hallelujah. He knows how to direct you. He even knows how to coach you. Can somebody say Amen. Amen. A good coach knows how to coach their athletes. Do I got a witness in the house? Uh huh, uh huh. Amen. My Lord, it was like football. Praise our God. But a good football coach knows the player's strength and weaknesses. Yeah, I know I got a few football players in here. It may, it may have been 30 years ago, but you was on the field. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He knows which players can play quarterback. He knows what player can play running back. He knows what player can play cornerback. Can somebody say amen? amen. He even knows which player can play way back. All right. Way back on the bench until I get to you. Can the church say amen? amen. Don't laugh because that was part of my position. I was way back until he got to me. Can somebody say amen? amen? I was just so glad I was a part of the team. Matter of fact, amen, I felt so good, I felt special. They even called me special. Me and a group of guys on the football team sitting on the bench and said, all right, special teams, come on and get on the field. Kickoff team, get on the field. I felt special. 
Oh, y'all laugh, but see, we ought to be feeling special. I, I was just glad I was a part of the team. I want a day, man, stop playing like Bishop Newsom was. See, his name was on the wall when I got to the school. And his picture. Can the church say amen? amen. Praise our God. But I found out, praise our God, that amen, even if you learn, just learn how to stay on the team. Guess what? Even when the team win, everybody gets the credit. Can somebody say amen? amen? I had a son that played the same sport that I played. And he was on the wrestling team. And he broke his arm. I know he didn't want to tell all of it. I'm going to tell it. But he was a hard worker. And he would have started. But the team went all the way to the state championship. And the team won a state championship. And because he was on the team, he still got a state championship ring. Can I preach? Can I preach? Can I preach? Got away. Because I was on the team six years and got the state and still didn't get a ring. Can the church say amen? amen? But I'm so glad on this team that God got us on. We all are winners. In spite of the overwhelming circumstances. Do I got a witness in the house? Praise our God. What I'm trying to encourage you, young people, is stay on the team. Yeah. Yeah. Stay on the team. You may be, it seems like, in the front of the church, or you may be in the back of the church. Can uh -huh. somebody say amen? Yeah. But just stay on the team. On the team. Because you are a winner yeah. in spite of the overwhelming circumstances. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I say, well, David, you up there preaching, and it seemed like you got a great position. But the sisters in the back, amen, is at the door. It seemed like they got a least position. But the Bible says, the last shall be first. Yeah. And the first shall be last. You ought to give God praise right now. It don't matter what you're doing in the house of God. Tell somebody, I'm still on the team. Yeah. I'm still a winner. Yeah. In spite of the overwhelming circumstance. Yeah. Can the church say amen? Amen. Yeah. Because, praise our God, the Bible says, likewise, amen, the Spirit, amen, helpeth our infirmities. Amen, we know, we don't even know what to even pray for. Amen, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning that cannot be uttered. Only thing God wants you to do is just stay before God. Young people, we're living in perilous times. We're living in the last days. We're living in times when wrong is right and right is wrong. And when God is we living in times, those of us that are older don't really understand the things that you're going through. Yes, we've been there and done that, but y'all are going through things on a different scale. Do I got some real folks in the house? Ah, but I want to encourage you. The Bible says, great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We, we on the sideline coaching, and we still got to stay in the game. But I want to let you know, hallelujah, the Bible says, you are a winner in spite of the overwhelming circumstances. We're living in a time there's an identity crisis. People don't know who they are. People don't understand where they come from. The parents told them they're this. Social media tell them they're that. Do I got a witness in the house? But God say, young people, you are a chosen generation. I need some chosen generation to clap your hands and give God praise. Young people, you are a royal priesthood. I don't care where you came from, but if that doesn't matter, all that matters where you're going. Ah, you're going, praise the Lord. And God, no matter what you go through, there's going to be some ups and there's going to be some downs. But you are a winner in spite of the overwhelming circumstances. Just stay in the fight. Just stay in the race. Don't give up and don't give in. Hallelujah. Stand for holiness. Stand for righteousness. Stand for the word of God. Stand for the baptism in Jesus' name. Stand for the gift of the Holy Ghost. Stand, stand. Stand. I need somebody to stand up right now and say, I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand. Yes, sir. You are a winner. Yes, sir. 
in spite of, in spite of. the overwhelming circumstance. Hallelujah. Don't count our young people out. Because some of us did the same thing they did. Did I mess up? It's just that we kept it on the wraps. We got a witness in the house. Hallelujah, but the Bible declare, the earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. The world that they that dwell therein. It lets us know no matter what you go through in this world, all you need to do is just, just don't love it. Because the love of this world will pull you out. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. All that's in the world is the lust of the eye and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. How many can recognize we got a fight going on? I said when I would do good that old evil thing is right there hallelujah I find in my members warned against the law of my mind bringing me into captivity but I want to let somebody know you are a winner in spite of the overwhelming circumstances you don't have to worry about what the flesh tell you to do but just learn to crucify it just learn to pray just learn to fast and if you fall Get back up and say, I'm going to run. I'm going to run. He that has no might, he increases strength. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Come on and give God a hand praise in the house. He shall mount up. Wings of an eagle. He shall run and not be weary. He shall walk and not faint. God will help you. Tell somebody I got help. He'll help you. The word the writer said, when my heart, hear my cry, oh Lord. Sometimes you just got to cry out. Put away that pride and say, Lord, hear my cry, oh Lord. Attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth, what I cry unto thee. Oh, God just looking for us to humble ourselves. Hallelujah. Now, this is who we are. But when my heart is overwhelmed, folk act like they've never been overwhelmed. They ain't telling you the truth. But there's been some situation in your life. I thought I had it all together, Brother Junie. But my heart got overwhelmed. Hallelujah. I got a family. I got children to, amen, provide for. Hallelujah. The bank account was low. Amen. Amen. The car caught on fire. The other car got repossessed. But when my heart is overwhelmed, Lead me to that rock that's higher than high. For there has been a shelter for me. When God encouraged your heart, I don't care if you got two and got two pennies to rub together. Come in God's house and give God a hand break. I don't care what your situation is. Come in God's house and tell God. Sister, I was in the back. Listen to your testimony. I remember when they told me I ain't got no job for you. And they laid me off. And I had a family to take care. But when I began Holly, to try to figure it out, God had already worked it out. All I had to do was wait. All I had to do was trust. And God turned the situation all the way around. I need some witnesses to encourage this. That God would turn your, I don't hear no witnesses. God would turn your situation all the way around. Somebody give God a hand, praise in the house. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. When think about Jesus, he's so good. He will plead your case. Amen. Even in the courtroom. Praise our God. He's a doctor in the sick room. I got some cancer survivors in here. Do I got some witnesses in the house? You can't tell me. God won't make a way for them. You can't tell me. God will see them through. Somebody say, I know he can. You're a winner. You're a winner. Tell yourself, I'm a winner. Come on, tell yourself, I'm a winner. In spite of my overwhelming circumstances. And the Bible says, and we know. Huh? 
See, God knows us, but how many sometimes we, we got to know God? I say, God knows us, but amen. But we got to learn to know God. Paul said that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and in the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable unto his death. What do you mean, preacher? God was so good. He knew us before we was in our mother's womb. He said, but, but that ain't going to be good enough. What I'm going to do, I'm going to feel what you feel. I'm going to go through what you're going through. Oh, yeah. Do I got a witness in the house? Hallelujah. God was so good. He loved us so much. He said, I'm going to go through what you already been through. He said, I was wounded from your transgressions. I'm going to be bruised for your iniquity. The chastisers of your peace would vow upon him. Every time they hit him. Every time they spit on him. Every time, amen, they whipped him. They pulled the beards off of his face. Holiday pierced them in the side. Out came forth blood and water. They say, I be glory to say, I've been there. I've been there and done that. And I come to tell you that you're already a winner. Matter of fact, I stayed in the earth for three long days. And I went down to hell. And I took those keys. Amen. From the hands of the enemy. And I came up and I rose up. And I said, oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, brain, where is thy victory? Death is swallowed up in victory. Somebody say, you are a winner in spite of your overwhelming circumstances. Somebody give God a hand, praise in the house. You're a winner. You're a winner. We are compassed with so great cloud of witnesses. If you don't believe you're a winner, talk to some of the older saints. They'll tell you how they went through the race and still came out a winner. We all won the race on the one win the prize. Who is that? Those that endure to the end. Those that just strive and say, I won't give up. I can't give up now. Huh? Praise our God. First of all, there's nothing to give up to. Can the church say amen? amen. I say, can the church say amen? amen. Hallelujah. There are going to be some struggles, young people. There are going to be some trials. The Bible says tribulations work with patience. And patience experience. I know this is a microwave generation. Because when I came up, they didn't have a microwave. Huh? You cut the oven on, and you have to ask your mama for permission to cut the oven on. Can somebody say amen? amen? Or you cut the front eye on, amen, you cut open a biscuit, and you put a little butter and some water on the biscuit, because sometimes the biscuit was just a little bit hard. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you got you some apple butter. Hallelujah. Y'all know anything about apple butter? I'm sorry, young people. We had apple butter back in the day. Praise our God. And you got you some apple butter. And you might have a piece of ham that was left over by the ham bone. Oh, come on, somebody. And you sat down and you ate your meal. You ate your little snack. Praise our God. You don't know the struggle that the old generation went through. Praise our God. But somebody sing a song and say, there's not a friend like our lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide us until the day is done. No, not one. No, not one. Somebody give God a hand praise in the house. There's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some trials. You're going to be tested. Tribulation work with patience. Patience experience. You got to go through some experience. Come on, somebody. Huh? And experience hope. And hope, make it not a shame. Because when you go through something, when God bless you, you're going to learn to appreciate it. I got a couple of hand claps that appreciate what they went through. That appreciate every test and every trial. Because it made you who you are. Can the church say amen? 
You don't know the struggle that some people had to, what they had to do to get through college. Isn't that right, doctor? You don't know the struggle of the loans that they had to pay. Do I got some witnesses in the house? Can somebody say amen? My wife worked night and day, amen, taking care of six children, putting herself through college. Glory to God. Some man ain't got chick, no child, and can't even get a B in college. Oh, Lord. Can't even maintain a C. I'm not talking to somebody today. But when you got to struggle for what you got, when, when you got to earn what you have, huh, you will put all you got into it. Huh? Praise our God. Huh? The preacher said earlier, if you be faithful over a few things, huh, I'm going to make you a rule over many. Huh? Tell yourself, huh, I don't know how I'm going to get through college, huh, but I'm going to get through it. Huh? Hallelujah. I don't know how I'm going to get through school, huh, but I'm going to get through it. Huh? I don't know how I'm going to get through trade school, huh, but I'm going to get through it. Huh? Because with the Lord, huh, I am a winner. In spite of uh, the overwhelming circumstances, uh, somebody give God a hand praise in the house. Moreover, for whom he did predestinate, he also called. And whom he called, he justified. We didn't call ourselves. Bishop, the last thing I want to do is preach. Come on, somebody. Just give me a mic and a tambourine. Let me lead testimony service. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. But all I want to do is just please go. All I want to do is just encourage somebody. All I want to do is just give God glory. For somebody say, as good as God has been to me, I could afford not to praise his name. Brother Rob Maurice, as good as God has been to me, I got to give God the highest praise. I feel like praising him right now. Can I get somebody to shout hallelujah? Can I get somebody to shout glory? Can I get somebody to shout thank you, Jesus? You are a winner in spite of the overwhelming circumstances. Give God a hand, praise in the house. Hallelujah. And when life seemed difficult, when life seemed impossible, I know I got these old songs, but I used to sing a song. Praise our God. God specializes. Anybody remember that song? God specializes in things that seem impossible, and he will do. Well, no other power. How many know he does the impossible? Come on, give God a praise you know God the impossible in your life. What man says is impossible. There's nothing too hard for God. Can the church say amen? amen. So stand. Because you're a winner. Young people, you're a winner. You are a winner. Amen. Just stay on that team. Yes, sir. Uh, the God got a prize waiting on you for you. Can somebody say amen? amen. I said, can somebody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. And you know what? Salvation is for winners. I'm almost done. I say salvation is for winners. It's not for losers. Did I say that? To make you feel better, all of us was losers at one time. Oh, that just, I just made somebody mad. You called me a loser. Yes, you was. Because we all was born in sin. Some folks out there ain't never did a sin in their life. You just kept it on the route. Can somebody say amen? But we all have sinned and come short of the glory. Tell yourself, I'm a winner. Hallelujah. When I was out there fornicating, I was a loser. Well, amen. Hallelujah. Oh, backbody. Somebody was a loser. Hallelujah. Say amen. Being hateful, somebody was a loser. Being a liar, somebody was a loser. Praise our God. Being a thief, somebody was a loser. And such were some of us. But we stepped on the winning side. Do I got a witness in the house? I need the winners to stand up on their feet right now and say, I'm a winner. In spite of the overwhelming circumstances, I won't lose no more. I'm a winner. Oh, where they go? Oh, where they go? I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. But David, but David, 
Holly, you messed up last week. You said something that you shouldn't have said. Ah, but my little children, these things I write unto you, that you sin not. If any man sin, honey, I may have said something kind of raw, but please forgive me. You have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. So I'm back on the winning side. Somebody say, repent, 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 repent. And when the works of the flesh get the best of you, I need somebody to help me preach just for a few minutes. I'm going to give somebody the fruit of the Spirit. And when I tell you what the fruit of the Spirit that you have enjoyed, say, I'm a winner. Can you help me preach? Love. Somebody give God a hand praise. Peace. Joy. Long-suffering. Sometimes when you feel like a loser, you ain't got to be one, just feel like one. The Bible says just like a sheep going to the slaughter. Can you imagine that sheep thinking that he's a lunar, he's a loser? He see a big old axe, amen, ready to take his head off. But that sheep just going on to the slaughter. But the Bible says just like a sheep going to the slaughter. But nay, tell somebody it's not what it looks like. Tell somebody, it is not what it looks like. Like a sheep going to the slaughter. I need some winners to stand up and say, Nay, in all these things, I'm more. I can't hear you. I'm more. Somebody say, I'm more than a conqueror. Somebody give God a hand, pray. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. Look like I'm losing, but I'm winning. Look like I'm going down, but I'm going up. Do I got a witness in the house? I said, do I got a witness in the house? It does not matter. Hallelujah what it looks like. But what it matters is that I stay with God. Praise our God. I'm almost done. Say, man, you got to go through knowing you're a winner. And when a battle is getting hot, somebody sing a song. Don't wait till the battle's over. <laughs> I say, don't wait till the battle's over. Shout right now. Can I get somebody to help me? Shout right now. Don't wait till the battle's over. Shout right now. Shout right now. I say, give God some praise. I say, I'm a winner. In spite of my overwhelming circumstances. And the song goes on. They say, when you're burdened down in the cares of life and your striving seem to be in vain, hold your head up high. All your delivery is not. But when the battle is over, I say, when the battle is over, hallelujah. I need somebody to give God praise for the battle.
to know that we are winners. Hallelujah. It may look like you're a loser, but in spite of your overwhelming circumstances, we are winners because we have Christ. Amen. Won't you encourage today? Wasn't you encouraged today? Amen. Let's give God a hand for the preacher. Hallelujah. Could we always enjoy Elder David Spellman? He's one of those old school preachers. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word. Amen. Thank God for you. Praise God. Just time. Amen. If we have any evangelist or preacher in the house, in the audience, would like to say something, please do so. We do have, praise God, evangelist Edmund in the house. Praise God, you'd like to say something, dear? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. What shall we say? All right. I am truly excited about the goodness of God. I cannot tell it all, but the testimony that C.C. Winer has written a song, and it says, The Goodness of God. Yeah. And the words are, It's running after me. Yeah. The goodness of God is yes. running after me. Yeah. I have laid down my life, and I have surrendered all. And the goodness of God, he yeah. over fire. I want to say, not only was it running after me, is it continually running after me, but it has caught up with me, and I am overwhelmed.
Spellmans, you know, which y'all don't know, that's my family. I mean, blood family, bloodline. Thank God for my sister Janae. Thank God for sister Angie. Uh, my brother there, my, my friend from Murray Anderson High School, uh, Andrew Williams. Those of you that don't know, I lived in North Carolina for five years. Andrew, I'm not going to tell it, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew said, look, man, that was the old man. Leave it alone, Ralph. Leave it alone. So thank God for my cousin, Andrew Williams. And your beautiful wife, thank God for all of you. Thank God for my family. Though I got cousins here I don't even know. But I thank God for you. And I also like to say that Elder Carter, I'm trying to keep from crying, y'all. I was in a bad way this morning, my brother. Hallelujah! And Brother Spellman, I was in a bad way. One thing about me, I'm going to tell on myself. One time I said to God, I said, God, why am I always the one to ask people to forgive me? Why, Lord, why am I always the one asking folks to forgive me? They're doing me wrong too, God. <laughs> yes, I talked to the Lord like that. I say, God, every time I say I'm dealing with smart this and this and that, I'm saying everywhere I go, I said, Lord, why am I the one always asking for forgiveness? I didn't get no answer. <laughs> but I want to share this with you, saints. I've been going to funerals. Every week. Listen to me, saints. Every week. I lost count of the loved ones, my cousins, the ones that have gotten killed, age 21, 30, and gunned down in the streets. Uh, I have a small testimony. And Elder Joe Carter and Bishop Newsom is in this testimony. Um, it's a a song that Tracy Atkins was singing. You know, I look at the uh, program all the time. Tra Tracy Atkins was singing this song, Excess Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at it, I said, God. And somebody said, man, that's a singing woman. <laughs> I said, I know. She sung this song, Excess Love. I said, tell I said, what is that song that Tracy is singing in the church? And my wife said, excess love. I put that, that song up on YouTube. Yeah. I've been playing that song almost 24 7. Yeah. That song, it is like it's, I can't even explain it. But that song every day makes my day. But this is my testimony. You know, a lot of people don't understand me. I preached the message at the church in North. I, I was that corner boy, I was that street guy, I was that guy that did the drugs. It hurt me to see the thing. God said the last day. I can relate with uh, 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 the, the elder that spoke. Uh, and, and Ella Carter, man, I'm telling you, brother, I got delivered today through your message. I needed deliverance today, brother. God is real, man. I got delivered through your message. Yeah, I've been saved about 50 years. But I need a deliverance today. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of, I'm, I don't like to talk smart to people. I have a boldness that sometimes I say, Lord, I need to tone it down. When I say a boldness, I'm talking about, talking about? on the highway. Yes. Yesterday, I walked up to a young lady. Yes. I was at Sam's Club waiting on my little granddaughter. And so I'm in that, you know, where you drive around a little loop and you put your groceries in. So lady the pool behind me. So... I said, oh, I'm waiting for them so I get out of her way. So I got out of her way. She gets in the line. I thought she was about to load up. She turns on the blinker. I'm coming back around, still waiting on my granddaughter. I'm like, okay. Seems like she ought to show me the same courtesy that I have to show her. Get out of my way. <laughs> so like y'all said, like I said, I got boldness that I need to tone it down. I believe my brother, my brother. <laughs> I got out my truck. I walked up to the young lady, the young lady. I said, ma'am, she rolled down on one of the respectful. I said, look, ma'am, 
I said, I just wanted to say, can you show me the same courtesy I just shown you? I said, you know, when I saw you behind me, I just got out the way, you know, can you? She said, oh, yes, yes, yes. So she pulled up and I went around. But this is my testimony. And I want to say to Bishop Newsom, uh, the other car, Bishop, oh, yeah. <laughs> overseer, I love y'all, man. I think y'all don't do about that. Remember that. They helped me one time when I first started out preaching. And I did this funeral. I have done many funerals. I have done funerals where, where folks have brought guns to the funeral, about to have shootouts. That's the type of preacher God made me. Did I ask to be a preacher? No, I did not. Do I get joy? Yes, I do love to preach. But if God called me the pastor, would y'all pray for me? I ain't crazy about that. I ask God, Lord, if this is you, I need to know. But anyway, going back to the story, we had a service here. Bishop Faison was living. Some of you heard it before, some of you haven't. So my car broke down. My wife and I, we had our firstborn son, which was Ralph Shaw Jr. And my desire is I got to get to my church. And so I said, Lord, my car broke down. My car was jacked up. <laughs> I needed some work. So I said, Lord. I said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm living in a place called Dundas Square North. I went on uh, Chesapeake Boulevard waiting for a bus to come. Man, you, I didn't know the what it cost to catch a bus. <laughs> I went used to catching the bus in a while. So I got on the bus. And when I got on the bus, I, I had to ask the bus driver, how much is it? And uh, he told me I put the money in the, in the slot machine with the money machine. And I had gotten a transfer because I had to go to one area and then catch, a, catch another bus. And what I did, I, I, I got off that bus to get on another bus. And I was like, uh, oh, let me go back. When I was standing at the bus stop, my brother was living in, uh, John Shaw. You know, someone talking about him the day. He, did, he died at age of 64 about four years ago. My brother John never missed nobody like I missed that brother. Sometimes I still cry, but God is, he's fortifying me. But anyway, my brother drove right past me, looked me dead in my eyes, and I said, Johnny! He drove right past me. And later on, I had asked him, I said, man, I was trying to get to church one night, and you drove right past. He said, brother, I did not see you. So what happened? He drove past, and I believe it was because sometimes I think God do things for a reason. And so he, didn't, he said he didn't see me. I believe that. So what happened? I got off the bus, and the church that was coming to Bible Way that evening was... First Gospel Tabernacle, Pastor Front Roy was living, she was coming to preach. And when I got off, I saw one of her members. Because I started walking, I had my Bible in my hand. I said, I'm, well, I'm going into my old neighborhood, Robert's Park. I'm going to get a ride to church tonight. So, so what I did, I went to uh, Bunny's house, Bunny family, Bunny that comes here on Sunday with my uh, buddy Michael Robs, went to their house first, nobody was home. So then I went, oh, Shirley drove right past. I mean, so Shirley that belonged. And I, heard, I said, Shirley! She didn't hear me, nor did she see me. I said, man, I got to get to church. So I said, I'm going to Robert's Park. And so I went into Robert's Park. And when I went to Robert's Park, hey, man. I knocked on this door. OK, I'm, I'm going to cut it short right there. But look, folks need to hear this. I'm serious. I ain't trying to take up no time, but when I went to the house, I'm going to show you how God works. It's important to have a relationship with God. Amen. Don't idolize your pastor. Don't idolize the building. Focus on God. Seek God with your whole heart. Now, I mean seek God fast. Pray. Seek God. Don't do things for a form or a fashion. So anyway, I went into the house. And when I walked into the house, the young lady in the house said, Ralph, I am glad to see you. I said, what's going on? I'm trying to get around the church. She said, look, did you know anything about repentance and baptism in Jesus' name? I had Bible class right there in the house. 
And she looked at me and said, now I understand. preach her funeral. I don't know if she repented, got baptized in Jesus' name, but I'm saying that God led me. God did not allow me to get to church. Y'all can think I'm crazy. I just don't care. I don't care what you think about me. I'm going to obey God. Care how y'all think or feel about me. You hear me? I don't care. Because God got my back. God said, I'm protecting you from prison. God told me this. Amen. He protected Amen. me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We have Pastor Spellman. He come at this time. Amen. Brother, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome to some more praise in the house. Amen. We honor our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. God of our salvation. Amen. Amen. Give honor, honor, do. Amen. We thank God for this beautiful you weekend. Amen. Give it to your people one more time. Hey, come up pray for this awesome. Amen. Pray the Lord. You weekend. Amen. Honor the pastor of the church, our friend. Amen. We know Bishop. Amen. News. Amen. God bless you, man of God. His love the way from out of here. Amen. We honor all the elders and saints of friend. We just enjoy the word of God about you. Amen. God fed us good. Amen. Be encouraged, saints. Amen. Continue to tell yourself what you hear all week long, that I am a winner. Amen. 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 One time, amen. Amen. I was thinking about the song. I'm going to sit down. Amen. The young people sang it. Elder David's son. Can't remember his name. He, he sang it. We win. We win. We win. <laughs> Is it good to tell yourself we win? We win. In every circumstance, we win. We win. Somebody shout, we win. Praise the Lord. Just time we'll see Sister Andrea face. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm just going to make just a few um, presentations. I am not going to be before you long. While I'm talking, um, can the youth committee and additional members, <laughs> helpers, um, come up, please? It's all right. You know who you are. Please. <laughs> um, also, Sister Fitzgerald, you don't have to come up, but if you could just stand. So we had quite a weekend, and I just, I have to acknowledge everybody who played such a huge part in it. Yes, um, yes. So I'm going to go through this really quickly, but I got to do it. So y'all just bear with me, please. All right. Go ahead. Uh, first, I want to give just a little token of our appreciation to our pastor. Is he out? He stepped out. He stepped out. Okay. Our pastor and our elect lady. Next up, Sister Fitzgerald. She was so, so, I mean, tremendously helpful. We could not have done the mental health seminar without her. All right. She is a professional. She is a woman of God. She's a minister. She's a second mother. I mean, wow. I tell you, she's, she's wonderful, wonderful. Amen. Also, uh, Sister Talita Shaw, is she? Right. So we had to eat. We had to eat all weekend. Uh -huh. And some of y'all may know, we do have construction going on. So our kitchen and dining room was off limits. Yeah. And so I don't know how this woman did it. Uh -huh. I don't know how she did it, yeah. but she managed to feed us. I mean, thank you. Thank you. And, uh -huh. and Sister Jackie Martinborough, I saw you back there today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's her sister. She helped. Both of those uh, sisters are actually our pastor's sister. Amen. And I tell you, they worked so hard. We love them so much. Amen. I'm going to acknowledge really quickly the Youth Committee of Babaway. I'm going to start from this end. We got Sister Angela Withers. Right. <laughs> Angie is, is one of those jack of all trades. She does not just play the organ and the keyboard. Angie actually created the video that was played during the um, play, but her son narrated it. And then we have Sister Shakara Daly, who led service today, played the drums, and of course was Gemma, 
in the play, our actress. Then we have Sister Alicia Jones, who actually came up with this theme. Alicia actually came up with the theme, so we thank you for that, and thank you for just helping in any and every way. Alicia actually fried the chicken babble way that we ate today, so we uh, thank you for that as well. Over here we have Brother Maurice Manley, who we thank so much, so much for helping us with this entire thing. Maurice designed the flyers that, well, he, he designed the first flyer. Yeah. And then the one that looked kind of broke down, that was the one I did. <laughs> but the one, the one that looked like dynamite, that was Maurice's work. <laughs> but I also want to acknowledge Amaris. Please stand up. Hey, Sister God. Amaris Anthony. <laughs> she designed this flyer. Amaris Anthony designed this, this, this actually oh, digital God. sign. Oh, so thank you, Amaris. Next up, we have Sister Denise Thomas, who oh, actually. <laughs> was the assistant director of the play. <laughs> she did a great job um, giving us suggestions, recommendations, flat out telling us you need to do this, but she was right. And so we appreciate her, we appreciate her voice. We appreciate how she helped out in every area. Thank you so much, Sinise. And then we have uh, Donica Williams. Another jack of all trades. Adonica was doing everything, singing, taking care of the kids, uh -huh. um, just any and everything that we asked, she did it. And I want to say, y'all are not just jack of all trades, y'all are a master at it. And I appreciate that. Right. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. This could not have happened without y'all. There is no way, and I know this sounds corny, but I'm going to say it anyway. Shakara says it sometimes. There is no I in team. Come on. So this could not have happened without all of us That's coming right. together right. and doing this for the youth, but most importantly, doing it for the glory of God. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord, everybody. Sister Andrea, don't go nowhere. Uh, we want to thank you. And we got something nice and sweet for you as well. Sister Andrea has, we, oh, God bless you. Uh, we, <laughs> she has did above and beyond for this entire weekend. I wish y'all could see, she wrote the play that we had less than a month to learn. So if y'all saw words down here, that's why. <laughs> but we, we came through and she, she wrote the whole play, everything for the seminar. When she sent me what, uh, the, the lesson plan, I was like, this is, something you paid thousands of dollars for. <laughs> the entire lesson plan, she worked day and night tirelessly to make sure that this weekend, I think we had a meeting probably twice a week, just about, and she made sure that everybody was on it. We just want to say that we appreciate you, we love you, and we hope you enjoyed this sweet token right, that God. came from, yes, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> we love you, God bless you. Forgive me, I also want to acknowledge Elder David, thank you so much. Thank you so much. When I called him, when I called him to ask him to speak, he said, of course, we're family. We're family. And so, oh, I love Sister Angie. He said, we're family. So I said, OK, wonderful. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to turn this back into the hands of Elder Carter. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the youth. Andre, praise God. Thank God. We appreciate what you have done, Amen. how you helped in uh, encouraging the young people. Amen. Because this is a day and time where they need encouraging. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank God again for Brother David. Amen. My friend. Thank God for pastors that allow him to come to be with us. Amen. Thank God for I'm elect lady, I will pass it. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all that work so hard to make this happen. We appreciate you. Amen. Thank God for my in-laws. All right now. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I had, I had to throw that in there, praise God. I appreciate you all. Amen. This time we're trying to serve back in the hands of Ella Davis. Amen. Like you got a hand raised in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody.
somebody, we're a family. Amen. We stick together, praise the Lord. In times like these, if we bind together, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. We can be a force. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 We can call down men and women. Amen. And they may cry, what must I do to be saved? Praise the Lord. It ain't a time to go to your corners. Amen. Wait for a bell. Can somebody say amen? amen. But let's come together. Let's bind together. Amen. amen. And take Chesapeake and North Carolina by storm. Amen. Somebody give God a hand. Praise. Amen. amen. Souls need to be saved. Amen. Amen. You see what's going on in Israel? When they say peace and safety, what? Sudden destruction. So, amen. Time is winding up. It's time for us, amen, to be about our Father's business. Let's all stand. Amen. I thank God for you and you and you. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God for my, my friends, the Newsom sisters. Praise the Lord. They know what I'm talking about back there. Amen. I look for them. They're always in the back. I got to find them. <laughs> amen. Praise the Lord. You, you, and you. Continue to pray one for another. Thank my God may continue to encourage us to stand together. Amen. And stand on the apostolic truth. Can I say that one more time? Stand on the apostolic truth. Glory to God. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. For Mother Vincent being in the house again. Amen. For coming in for my wife. Amen. Continue to pray for us. Uplift the hand. May the grace of God and sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost rest rule about us. Keep and preserve us that a great day of his come. That we be that holy church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. That we stand before you holy in love. These bless all the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Church, amen. Bye. 